It's a very basic example of user registration in Django, and the main idea of the video is to show how to use the Django Contrib auth package to create a user. And uh, this is the minimal example of how to do it. In this example, I am using vanilla Django and Bootstrap 4. So, the first of all, I have to install Django. Then I have to create a new project. Let's say it'll be user sign up project. And then I need a new app. It will be the user app. And also I want to apply all existing migrations. So the manage py migrate. And uh, as I created a new Django app, I need to append with it the installed apps list. I need the settings py file. I want also import os module and uh, install the apps list. I am appending with the user app. And uh, on the level of the manage py file, I'm creating the templates directory. And in this directory, I will store the base HTML template file. So I want to create it. Base HTML. And uh, now I want to say to Django that he has this template folder. So in the DIRS list of the templates list, I'm creating a new OS path join base their templates and then I want to fill on the base HTML with the content I want to use the bootstrap for CSS styles so in the get bootstrap.com website I'm taking the link to the CSS and uh, I'm pasting it here. And uh, the layout of pages will be inside the container. Pro. I want to have it centered. And I want to have the margin from top at five bootstrap units. And here I have to create on the block content for Django. And now I needed to set the route for handling user requests. I can close base HTML and in the root URLs py file in the user sign up project folder, I'm creating a new URL pattern. That'll be user. And so all requests to the user URL will be handled also with the route specified in the user app and in its URLs py model. And I have to import the include function. Okay, now I have to create a URLs py file in the user app. And here I have to create at least one URL pattern for create user page. And the handler of the request to the user create page will be the create user view. It's a class, so I am calling uh, the asView method. And the name of this URL pattern will be, let's say, create user URL 
and I have to import this create user view from the use py model. Dot means the current folder, I, and I want to import all. Ctrl C, and in the views py file, I have to create this view. I am defining the new class, and it will be the subclass of the view class. Let's import it. So the get method gets the self and request as its arguments. And here I have to show to a user the sign up form. And uh, as you probably know, Django Contrib Auth Forms module has the user creation form. We can see it in the forms module of the auth package. user creation form. And this form I want to use in my view. So I have to import it firstly. Okay. And in the get method, I'm creating a new variable, the form, and uh, it will be an instance of the user creation form. And uh, the returning value of the get method will be the result of the render function. Request on the template will be user create HTML and the context dictionary will contain the form. Now I have to create user create HTML. So in the user folder, I'm creating new folders, templates user. And I'm creating the create HTML file. This file extends on the base HTML and it has the block content. And the inside the content block, I'm creating a new form the method attribute should be post and the action attribute is the link to the handler of the posted data and the handler is the create user view and that handles the requests to the local host user create url as i specified here and the name of this url pattern is the create user url so here in the action attribute of the form, I want to use the URL function and it gets as an argument the name of the URL pattern. And that'll be the create user URL as I specified here. So I need the CSRF token. For a more detailed explanation, consider watching my Django 3 tutorial. And uh, the form will be very simple. For each field in the form, I want to create a new div with a form group CSS class. And the button. The type of the button will be submit. The CSS styles will be BTN and BTN success. And the text will be create. Let's look at it in the browser. And I need to start my Django dev server. Once again. user create. Okay, I got the form and now I want to add h1 header text center 
and also I want to add bootstrap alerts if the form will have some errors. So after this def I want to add if block and the if field errors then I want to create a new def with alert alert danger CSS classes and render here field errors. Okay, F5 again. Margin from bottom five. Okay, the form is ready and now I need to get data posted by a user and create a new user. To do it, I have to define the post method or the create user view class. Here I have to get bound form. Bound means the form filled with data. So the bound form variable will be an instance of the user creation form class. But in this case, I have to pass into the user creation form init method the data that user has submitted. And this data are stored in the request object in its post dictionary. For a more detailed explanation, again consider watching my Django 3 tutorial. Then I have to check whether the bound form is valid or not. If it's valid, I want to create a user. If not, I want to show user errors in the form. So if bound form and I'm calling the is valid method. So if it's valid, I want to call bound form save method. And uh, the save method will return an instance of the user, as we can see here. And uh, I want to show to a user the profile page, for example. So let's return. And let's create the profile HTML. User variable, and uh, I want to get it username. Then, if the form is not valid, I want to show the user form with the data being inputted and the errors. Just return render request, and uh, here the template will be user create HTML again and the context dictionary will have again the form key and the value will be bound form. That's it and let's play a bit with the form F5. Let's input a wrong data for example user 1 to 3 And we can see bootstrap alerts, the two password fields didn't match. Great, let's say password will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's too common and the password is entirely numeric. Okay. Okay, I've got the new user. And now I want to add bootstrap styles to the form because my form has no styles. And um, I can do it by creating a subclass of the user creation form. So let's create 
a new file in the user app folder it will be forms py file and here i have to import the user creation form and then i'm creating a new class let's say it will be create user form and uh, it's a subclass of the user creation form here i need to define the init method that takes self and some positional and keyword arguments and then i'm calling the init method of its parent class of uh, user creation form super init and i'm passing into it all arguments and then i want to add a new css class to fields of the form so for field name in a list with a username password one password two then self fields it's a dictionary and the key of the dictionary will be field name then i need its widget and the address dictionary will get a new value class form control and that's it and now i have to use this create user form in my view so instead of this form i want to use my form from forms dot means the current folder import create user form and i have to use it here in the get method and here in the post method let's test it f5 something wrong with my css styles of the form so let's open the base html and of course i need div with a call sex css class f5 okay the next video will be about basic authentication of a user with django auth package if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching